What is good, everybody? Today we have brand new WWE action figure news that actually dropped just the other day. And this is going to be some things that is probably going to be revealed in just a couple short weeks at San Diego Comic-Con. If I had to guess, most of this, if not all of this, will be revealed at San Diego Comic-Con. But we do have a new look at some upcoming waves that are going to be coming out. And this news is a little old. It's not too, too old. But I wanted to get all those reviews out of the way before I dived into this news. So we are going to dive into some brand new news today. And again, we are just a couple short weeks, just, I mean, days really, away from San Diego Comic-Con out in California. Really excited for it. Going to be a great day and week of reveals. Should be fun for all the news and everything, all the coverage here on the channel. But let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into the news that we have here today. Now we do have a look or we have the lineup. We have a listed lineup here of upcoming WWE elites and some other things. So we're going to talk about it, man. Today we're talking about the 2025, which makes me want to vomit, the 2025 Royal Rumble Elite set. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. We're going to go figure by figure. I'll give you my thoughts on what look I think it might be and all those things. And we'll just progress through it, man. Starting out first, we have none other than, you guessed it, Brad, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, Hulk Hogan is the first figure. Now, there are a few different looks it could be, and honestly, it's kind of boring when you think about the looks it could be. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking it's going to be one of his Rumble wins, you would think, right? Like 1990, 1991 is what I would guess it would be, but I guess it could be another Royal Rumble or some sort of appearance. I can't remember off the top of my dome. Maybe somebody can help me out down in the comment section below, but I don't see it being anything too, too exciting. I guess I could be wrong and you know usually these build a figure or the uh, that's another thing it is a build a figure set man it is another build a figure set so be excited 2025 Royal Rumble Elite set is going to be a build a figure but I you know usually in these in these Royal Rumble sets these pay-per-view build a figure sets most of the time not every single time but most of the time the figure is going to be some sort of repaint of a previously released WWE action figure from Mattel, and that's usually how it works. So this Hulk Hogan, probably going to be some sort of repaint or redeco or not too many changes, I'd imagine. Maybe a head sculpt, maybe an extra accessory, something like that. We'll have to see about that, of course, but Hulk Hogan is the first figure in the set. I know I can hear the groans from here. You're either going to be probably really, really happy or excited about it, or you're going to be at the floor. I don't know. You can let me know how you feel there, but the next figure in the set is going to be Diesel. Now, this one's interesting for sure. This could be a couple different options. It could be back in the day when he dominated in the Royal Rumble, and that could be certainly a look they go for, or what would it be even crazier, would be when he returned in 2011 and was a part of that Royal Rumble. That, that would be insane. Now, I think that that probably wouldn't be as popular as the throwback or the flashback. I guess technically, you know, both of them are quote-unquote flashbacks. They're, they are both flashback figures, but one is 20 years older than the other one or so, so you do have that on your mind there, but Diesel, a solid inclusion, you know, we did just, we didn't just get him, but, you know, he has been recently released. We saw him in the Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition we're getting him in the in the from the vault series so back to back you know diesel figures like that is interesting for sure but i i really doubt they would do 2011 right surely they wouldn't do that you know royal rumble 2011 diesel this far in the game i i don't know if that would make sense so i'm guessing it is going to be more of a 90s diesel if i had to guess but we'll have to see about that yeah that's just what i'm guessing off the top of the dome but diesel is the next figure in the royal rumble wave now getting into the next figure this one kind of shocked me and there's a few a couple different things that could be here i think there's three options on the table right here but we'll get into it man the next figure is going to be the Hurricane. Yes, Hurricane is going to be the next figure in the set. And for the Hurricane, you know, we did get him in Elite 75. It was a, certainly a great figure. We've seen him in the Legends Wave, which is another great Hurricane figure. And he had a Chase figure. So Hurricane has quite a few Elites. He's getting another one here. Now, this could be a few different ones here, like I said. I think that we we pretty much got his look from the early 2000s Royal Rumble, I think. I, you know, it may not be identical, but it's very similar. But we have, you know, this goes back to the Diesel thing. Is, is it going to be 2018 Royal Rumble return uh, hurricane figure? Or is it going to be 2021? You know, I think he returned in both of those Rumbles. So maybe maybe it'd be a more modern day hurricane. But I don't think a lot of people really... And now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably going to be something that we compare with Rosie, right? I feel like that would be accurate because, you know, we are getting him in the Legends set to Target, which is actually hitting right now. Rosie in that entire Legends wave, I've seen people finding it at Target. So I've also seen the four-pack, the SmackDown four-pack with Austin, Booker T, Cena, and Eddie Guerrero. That set is also hitting target. So you, you may be, that may be part of the reset or part of the new stock is they're going to put all those legends out and they're going to put that SmackDown 4-pack out. So you may want to be on the on the hunt for that. I think those are being found on the West Coast, I think. And I may have seen one on the East Coast. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to double check that. I want to say possibly New Jersey. Don't quote me on that. I, I'm just throwing around what I thought I saw on my timeline. I didn't screenshot it or anything like that. But I know that set's hitting. I know that was off the cuff. But speaking of which, they need to make a championship showdown pack or something of those 
those guys or some sort of pack together would be really cool to see for those guys. But nonetheless, man, the last figure in the set of the 2025 Royal Rumble Elite set is going to be the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Now, I know we've gotten a lot of Cody Rhodes figures, much needed. I mean, all of his gears are fire. He's he's incapable of having bad gear. You know what I mean? I say people are incapable of having good gear. He's the opposite. Every single figure that he releases is going to be great. Poses around nice, all those things. I know the Elite 111, very stiff because it has pinless legs, but this would have to be. This would have to be 2023 Royal Rumble Cody Rhodes, where he won his first Royal Rumble, and they're probably going to make another figure of his 2024 Royal Rumble win. You know, you get the back-to-back -back Royal Rumble wins. I was there in person for both of those, and I was front row for the 2023 Royal Rumble, so I most definitely want this Cody Rhodes figure right here. It's been on my wish list for a long time, so I'm hoping that is what it is, and I'm guessing it would be. I don't think you could get that kind of turnaround for a 2024 figure, so I'm guessing that'll probably come later on, maybe in a top picks wave or something. They repaint this figure for the 2024 or something, but he is going to be in the 2025 Royal Rumble Elite set, and it is going to be 2023 Royal Rumble Cody. At least I'm guessing it is. It's the only one that makes sense, so we'll have to see about that. But the biggest, the biggest news, I think, coming out of this wave right here specifically has got to be the Builder figure, man. You're not going to believe the Builder figure. I don't think you're going to believe the Builder figure. Unless you knew about it already, man, the Builder figure for this set is going to be none other than the Great Khali. The Great Khali finally getting an elite figure from Mattel. That is absolutely mind-blowing. It's been a long time coming. This figure right here has to be 15 plus years in the making. I mean, we have been waiting on a Great Khali Elite for so long. Now, they did make basics. They've made two or three basics in the early days of Mattel getting the WWE license. But, you know, getting a Great Khali Elite is massive news. That is huge news. I know everybody and their mom has been waiting on a Great Khali. I cannot wait to review this set and get the Great Khali in hand. I can't wait to see this figure in person. Hopefully, we see it in person at Comic-Con. I hope to God I get to see this figure on display. And it's just, just gigantic in the middle of the damn display. It should be a beautiful figure. I cannot wait to see the Great Khali feel in hand. I mean, he's going to be a mammoth of a man just destroying everybody's collection. It's going to be a beast. Can't wait to see it. And it's probably going to be up there with Omos for the biggest Elite ever made by Mattel. So that should be fun, man. Can't wait for Great Khali. And I know the Build-A-Figure parts are going to be massive. His freaking chest is going to look like Build-A-Figure Hulk or something, but we'll have to see, man. But I'm pretty excited for the wave. I, I am excited for the wave. I, you know, it, really it's the Build-A-Figure and the Cody Rhodes. The rest of them, I'll have to see them in hand. I'll have to see what the whole thing looks like, but I am just excited to build the full wave just for the Great Khali. So we'll have to see, and hopefully that means they can repaint him later and get more Great Khalis in the line. So that should be fun. But that, that popped me hard reading that there. But we do have more figures here. We have more figures that I want to get into. And again, we're probably going to see these at Comic-Con, so buckle the hell up, man. Now, the next figure we're going to talk about is Main Event Series 151 CM Punk. Now, on this graphic here, it says Main Event 151 CM Punk Rumble 2023. Now, we do know about a Main Event figure coming. It's going to be CM Punk in Main Event Series 151. I do believe we knew about that back at WrestleMania 40 when they did the panel with CM Punk, so we'll have to see about that, but I do know that, you know, they did announce some CM Punk figures coming, and I know without a shadow of a doubt, they're absolutely going to be showing a CM Punk Ultimate Edition. I know for a fact that that's coming. I if if that's not revealed at San Diego Comic Con, I'm gonna break my own foot off in my own head. That ha that has to be a thing. That has to be a thing. Uh, CM Punk Money in the Bank Ultimate Edition has to be coming. Whether it's Ringside exclusive, if it were a Ringside exclusive, I could see that happening. But he's got to be an Ultimate Edition revealed. Nonetheless, moving on to Main Event Series 154. Taking a look at the wave here, man. We have Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, Rob Van Dam, Thea Hale, and Andre the Giant, who is going to be the chase fan. And I think this is a pretty decent basic wave. I guess it's going to depend on a few different things. Now, we do have a first time on the line Thea figure here, which is amazing. That is, that's so good to see. Very excited to get, you know, new breath in the line. That's always a nice thing to see there. Andre the Giant is the chase. I don't know what they're going to do there. We'll have to see. Maybe a new head sculpt, maybe? That would be nice to see in the line. Rob Van Dam, I pray to God that there's a new head sculpt in there for Rob Van Dam. I hope to Jesus it's not the Monday Night War Series 3 head sculpt or the damn Defining Moments head sculpt that's coming soon. I don't want to see that. I Every time I see Rob Van Dam's name on a list, it makes me vomit that we don't have the airbrush money in the bank briefcase. Been waiting on that for a decade plus. I, I'm over it, man. I gotta have a damn airbrushed money in the bank briefcase for RVD. Preferably Ultimate Edition, but I'll take an Elite, man. Give it to me in a WrestleMania Elite Wave. It's a perfect, it's a perfect pick for a WrestleMania Elite Wave. Build a figure set, whatever the hell you want to do. Rob Van Dam, repaint the Elite 91. Give him the damn briefcase, man. It's that simple. It's just so easy. Just do it. Unless you have so Solo Sokoa here. Doubt he's gonna be in a suit or anything, I guarantee. 
it, it maybe a promo gear. Maybe that'd be a cool figure to release. I guarantee it's just a, a normal Solo Sokoa, nothing crazy. I'd like to get maybe a yelling head sculpt from him, maybe. And then Roman Reigns, if it's not the faded tapered beard, throw it the hell out in the yard. In all seriousness, though, San Diego Comic-Con, I am going to make a wants list or a wish list for San Diego Comic-Con, what I want to see the most. And I, I've begun making that list. That video will drop probably the week of San Diego Comic-Con, maybe, you know, the, the week of, like the beginning of the week or right before preview night or something like that. We'll release that video so that you can see what I'm thinking going into San Diego Comic-Con. But that is our main event series 154 wave right there. Hopefully those figures turn out to be great. But we're moving on to best of main event. This is nothing really to write home about. It is just Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, John Cena, and Gunther. They're going to be very run-of-the-mill. They're going to be very plain Jane, I imagine. I don't think we're going to see anything earth-shattering right here. This is for your little Timmy's going down the aisle and they want the quick... You know, the, the top pick, their favorite guy on the shelf, bam, there he is. And I don't think they're going to do too much here. You know, it's going to probably be a re-release of previously seen basics. So not going to be too, too much going on right there. But there is some top-level names right there if you guys want those. And then last but not least, we have the Championship Showdown Packs Series 19. Now, this popped me pretty hard. Now, one of them we already know, Orton and Punk. Randy Orton and CM Punk saw that pack back at, at WrestleMania 40. It is going to be the Pink Gear Punk there. I know a lot of people want that in Elite form. They want it in Ultimate form, obviously. I think they're, they're going to do it. They're going to put this in Elite form or Ultimate form at some juncture. It just wouldn't make any sense. People have been waiting on this gear from Mattel. I know we've had it in basic form before, but getting this in elite form has certainly got to be on their to-do list or their bucket list. It has to be, but this pack looks pretty good. And then we also have Hulk Hogan and Mean Gene. That one popped me pretty hard, seeing Hulk, Hulk Hogan and Mean Gene. I just want to see another Mean Gene. I don't feel like we really get enough of him. I know we've had, you know, we've had a handful of Mean Genes, but I don't think we've ever had a basic Mean Gene off to the top of my dome right there. So Mean Gene being in a basic figure should be pretty cool or a main event figure. It's going to be a suited figure it's going to have a lot of mobility so that'll be a really fun figure there hopefully but the last figure is going to be Cena and The Rock and I'm guessing this is going to be a flashback you know from their Mania match and it'll probably come with the 13 it'll probably come with that version of the WWE Championship if I had to make a guess so we'll have to see hopefully good head sculpts hopefully good things going on we'll have to see about all those things but this is our full lineup here shout out to my man Fig Hill for the graphic it's got all the different information on there I wanted to get on here and talk about it it was some big news because I think the biggest thing coming out of this has to be the build a figure great Kali. I think that is massive. That is massive. So we will have to see about that. But you can let me know what you think of all of this news down in the comment section below. A lot of stuff here going on, man. You can let me know. We get, you know, we get the Thea figure. We get, you know, Mean Gene coming back. We get some CM Punk's figures in here. We have a new Rob Van Dam. Great Kali build a figure and Royal Rumble Cody Rhodes Elite. Probably my favorite things revealed here today, but you can let me know. And again, we're gonna see this at Comic Con. We're gonna see these either in render form or prototype form in the shelving, and they're going to reveal, you know, the next two or three. There's going to be a lot. You guys know at Comic-Con, they reveal damn damn near 100-plus figures, and it's insane. So that should be really fun, of course. And we'll be all there to cover all the knowledge and do all the different things, man. It should be fun. But that is going to wrap up the news video for today. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. You can let me know all of your thoughts, man. I appreciate each and every one of you, man. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate those fellows over there, man. Thank you guys so very much. For the continued support, as always, man, you guys are absolutely brilliant. But I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you guys later.